I had a walker that I used every day to do everything. Two years, two years I used a walker and a cane. It was horrible. It was depressing. I was just ready to give up. I was ready to give up. We ultimately reviewed the images and talked with her and did a good physical exam and realized that she was dealing with debilitating arthritis and loss of blood supply to the head ball of her left hip. I thought it was my back, but all along it was my hip and every day it just got worse. It just got worse and worse and worse. She ultimately decided to undergo left total hip replacement. I was in and out. I had the surgery, then um, here comes PT. We walked down the steps and walked back up the steps, and I was gone within a couple of hours. i say maybe about five, six hours. She left the hospital without staying the night. She was up and walking immediately. Really immediate pain relief, not needing any major narcotic pain medications. And so at about three months out from her original surgery with me, we did her other hip, same situation, went home the same day, did not require any major medications, worked with physical therapy exceptionally well, and when I last saw her in the office, she was dancing um, and not using any ambulatory assistive devices for the first time in two years. Hey, look. <laughs> I couldn't do this before. I had a walker and a cane. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my God, you have changed my life. Oh, I just wanna cry. You're welcome. Yeah, I just, for two years, I didn't walk until I met Dr. Weiss. He has changed my life. To be able to solve that problem for her and fix it for her at a young age while she still has so much life left to live and so many activities she'd like to do is, is very rewarding and I'm, I'm so happy that, that I was able to help her. I'm getting my life back. I'm getting my life back. That's the image before, here's the image after, and you can see we've removed those damaged ends of the bones and replaced it with metal and plastic parts, the plastic pieces between these two metal pieces. That's what gives the hip a nice smooth surface to move on. When patients who have arthritis, they, they have lost that cartilage, that smooth surface. So what we're doing is re resurfacing that to give them a smooth bearing surface to move on and walk on and get that joint moving again without so much pain and discomfort from the grinding of the bone on bone that they feel when they have arthritis. I never thought I would see this day that I'd be able to interact with my children and my grandchildren. I think it's something that other people can achieve for sure. You know, I think this is something that we can offer many patients. I specialize in anterior hip replacement surgery, which is a minimally invasive surgery, muscle sparing approach. So instead of cutting the muscles, we go between them and we don't have to suture them back together because we haven't cut into them. And so my patients who I do that surgery for, it's a much quicker recovery. I had bone cancer in my right leg when I was 15 years old. And I had a massive uh, reconstruction of my leg with uh, a lot of chemotherapy and time spent in the hospital. And so, you know, I really do understand what it's like to live with a disability, what it's like to have pain with activity, because I was there as a patient. And to be on this side of it is, you know, my life in a professional sense has come full circle and it's just very rewarding to be able to help people overcome their obstacles.